Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Please tell us your full name. Okay, so I am a beer and Kilio. Okay, a beer and Kilio. Uh, I'm Sandra. <laughs> uh, tell me about your teaching experience. Okay, so uh, again, good afternoon. I am a graduate of Bachelor of Elementary Education and also a graduate of master's degree in education. So when it comes to my teaching experiences, I am currently affiliated with a, a private school uh, since last year, and I taught um, mathematics, values, and music, art, physical education, and health for grade three. And I also taught English and science for grades four to six. OK, so I also had an experience of two years teaching zero to four years old. So um, it was unforgettable for me. It was an unforgettable experience because uh, during that time um, I handled 20 young learners uh, per, sub, uh, per class ages um, three years old to four years old. And I don't have uh, I didn't have teacher assistant. So I, I, I did the job alone. Uh, OK, I did all the job alone. So and I also got a chance to teach um, Chinese students Whoa. as an ESL teacher. Yes, as an ESL teacher in Phi Wan Talk for more than one year. So with my experience with this, I learned to handle um, learners with different ages from young ones to adult ones. So with this um, various teaching experiences of mine, it aided me to become a well-rounded and resourceful teacher. Very good, thank you. And uh, you said that your master's degree is in what field? Uh, educational leadership, ma'am. Oh, interesting, thank you very much. And I have a question about the values you were mentioning earlier. Um, uh, is that the moral values for students? Yes, ma'am, moral values. So what's the uh, textbook or the content that you use to teach them? Uh, more on, it's all about more an attitude, how they handled or how they react on a certain um, situation with politeness. So uh, you will role play with them? Again, ma'am? Will you role play with the kids? Yes, ma'am. A lot of a role play. Yes, ma'am. Most of the time I um, ask them to have a role play on a certain situation. Oh, that's very interesting. Thank you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Because uh, we have, we don't have those kind of classes in Thailand. Oh. Yeah, so I mm -hmm. think that uh, is quite important. But I'm not sure if the uh, teachers here in Thailand, they want the kids to learn uh, exactly the same. Because mm -hmm. uh, in people, people in the Philippines, Sometimes don't, don't act the same as mm -hmm. in Taiwan, of course. Yeah. Yes, okay. ma'am. But that's an interesting topic. I think that's totally <laughs> interesting. Okay, the next question is uh, tell us about your personality, your strength, and the weaknesses. Okay, so <clears throat> my strength is that I am hardworking. I never stop until I achieve my goal, just like when I dreamed to become a part of Teach for the Philippines. It's a nonprofit uh, organization that aims to help um, out of school youth, uh, out of school youth children, how to read and write. So I became a part of it, and um, that was uh, the most for me. That was the most rewarding moment of my life because, yeah, I saw the learners um, improved and learned from me. So we went to different remote areas in our community. Um, so do you go to those remote school to promote the uh, literature and uh, I'm sorry, literacy with the kids? What yes, do they teach? Um, we taught the children how to read the English language and okay. how to write. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, ma'am. It, it was okay. very interesting. Yeah, <laughs> and okay. fulfilling. I'm sure, yes. Uh, the kids must have a very good time. Uh, the next question, is, oh, so, sorry, about your weakness. What is oh, uh, about my weakness, um, according to my co-workers, I tend to work overtime. <laughs> yeah, 
And um, because uh, instead of me resting during my vacant time, I spent it on teaching a student who still need remediation. Hmm. OK, I see. OK, no problem. You work too hard. <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. The uh, next question is about bilingual education. I know that uh, it's been bilingual education in the Philippines for a really long time. Uh, Taiwan is brand new for Taiwan. Uh, so we need the more <coughs> to know how to teach uh, the subject. So I would like to know what subjects are you uh, trained to teach? Okay. From the following ones I'm going to tell you, music, art, performing arts, physical education, health education, outdoor activities, home economics, and counseling. All right. So as I've experienced teaching in a private school, OK, as I've said a while back, I teach mathematics, mm -hmm. um, science, mm -hmm. social studies, um, music, art, physical education and health. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as an elementary uh, teacher, we are trained to teach all the subjects. Mm -hmm. OK, I see. Thank you. Uh, the next question is, what made you think that you are a good teacher? OK, so for me, a good teacher is passionate and has a good behavioral management. OK, so a teacher should bring out the best in her students. OK, just like uh, I remember one of my students named Carl. So um, Carl was the, uh, was not musically inclined type of learner, but the moment he heard that there will be a singing contest for children's month, um, he approached me, he approached me and he told me he wanted to join the contest because he wanted to buy a new pet, which is a goat. So uh -huh. I saw the eagerness in his eyes. Uh -huh. And um, in that moment, I immediately wrote a song in line with the theme uh -huh. and through constant practice and uh, um, effort, uh, we, we made it on top. <laughs> so it was so uh, it was one of the mo uh, it was one of the proudest moment uh -huh. uh, for me as a teacher. Right. So um, I think that uh, that's the best achievement, the sense of achievement as a teacher. Yes. See your students outgrow themselves. Yes, ma'am. Proof is just so much, so mm -hmm. rewarding. Yeah. Seeing mm -hmm. them succeed. Yes, so much. Yes, yes. Because I have been, a, I have been a teacher for ten, over ten years too. Wow. So I remember, yes, <laughs> you knew the feeling. <laughs> yes, I totally do. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Um. So the bonus round. Uh, what do you want to tell the schools to your future employers to know oh. more about you? Okay, so to my future employer, <laughs> um, I'm very excited to see you and work with you. I am also extremely ecstatic to learn new things from you. So if you will give, an, uh, if you will give me the chance to work in your school, I'll put my heart uh, in the past you were uh, in the task you will be given me and give my very best. So see you soon. <laughs> okay, great. I will stop the recording now. <laughs>